the Sportatorium, man. I, I was so part, so glad I was a part of that. The uh, legendary down there. I, I drove down there. I I was down in that area for a, a shooting, and I drove by the Sportatorium, and uh, it's no longer there. It's a fucking parking lot. <laughs> it's it's fucked up. And but there's one place that's still there that Bruiser Brody took me there when he was booking down there when I first flew down there uh, to get into. Uh, World Championship was Big Al's Big Al's Barbecue. You know how barbecues are prevalent. They're everywhere down there. And I went to Big Al's with him. And this is what he says. I mean, you can't find out now, but he says, Ted, I hired you because I saw the way you ate at Big Al's. You just wouldn't stop putting away. I knew you're gonna. I knew you'd work out. <laughs> so <laughs> I always had an affinity with uh, Bruiser, and um, I was really, really upset about what happened to him. Because uh, I was one of the few that just got to talk to him all the time, you know. And he wore a lot of hats there, too, being the booker, running the angles and stuff, then working. Best caveman sucker routine ever with him. And he was, he was talented, and he was well-built. He it was the most awesome gimmick for a guy. He, that's why he made so much money overseas. He, he, he was phenomenal. His height, his stance. I mean, he's so friggin' convincing. He was a beast, for sure. He yeah. was awesome. Yeah. Awesome wrestler, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Frank Goodish, right? Yeah. Yep. Is he the one that came up with the Mr. 705 when you were doing that, that gimmick? That he, gimmick? You know, he might. It could have been Gary Hart. Gary used to make me crack up on the, uh, on the promos. <laughs> Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.